Hello, lovely people. Have an unboxing today, and it's from Savers. Let's see what we got. Britney Spears private show private show mm -hmm. <laughs> prerogative curious and covet I have another unboxing. So I'm going to start off with Covered Pure Bloom from Sarah Jessica Parker. Simply because I had a hard time getting this out of the gift set. So I actually ordered this because it was only £9.99 for the gift set, including that. It's a bit of a knocky looking clutch, but I don't use clutches anyway. I'm more of like a saddle bag kind of person. But yeah. I bought this because I've had such great experiences with Sarah Jessica Parker uh, perfumes. They seem to work really well with my skin chemistry. And so when I saw this on that bargain price of £9.99 for 100 mil, I was like, yeah, get in. I already have Covet, the sister fragrance. So I think Covet came first and then Covet Pure Bloom um, came next. So it's got the beautiful Squat bottle. I love, love this bottle. It's so incredibly beautiful and it's got the... Dahlia at the top. It's the sort of bottle that I enjoy to look at and I like to have it sitting on my bathroom vanity. But yeah, covered. So in terms of the notes profile for this, um, I think its base is tuberose and musk and it's supposed to have uh, jasmine, plum, vanilla and coconut milk. So it should be interesting. This is a complete blind buy, by the way, because I'm a bit of a sucker for a bargain. So the thing about the covered bottles is the top is kind of like this um, Dahlia type thing. Guess if you wanted to, this could be costume jewelry. Darling, darling. <laughs> okay, come off now. And this kind of like slots through over there like that. Interesting design, I think. Um, but yeah, I'm not getting anything on the bottle. <laughs> Let's try you out. Okay, good atomizer. I think so far all of the Sarah Jessica perfumes, uh, Sarah Jessica Parker, got to say that right. Sarah Jessica Parker perfumes. Ooh. Ooh. Oh gosh, I forgot what I was saying there. Mm -mm -mm. I love this. I mean, right off the bat, it's got a really nice alluring 
scent. Definitely getting the jasmine and the tuberose. Those are definitely coming through. It's quite floral, but it's not very sweet. I'm not getting the sweetness off of the original, uh, off of the initial blast. Mmm, very nice, very nice. The white floral, the iris is kind of coming out as well. So it's giving it like a lovely freshness, a lightness to it. I like this. I actually think that I like this a lot better than the covered, its original sister. But it's definitely a floral, but not sweet or fruity. It's not too sweet or too fruity. I can see myself wearing this in spring. I can definitely see myself wearing this. See, I'm picturing a nice sleeveless uh, shirt dress with a collar and, you know, like a gathered skirt. So like quite voluminous, like a fit and flare dress. I can see myself wearing it with this. I like it. I like this very much. Sarah Jessica Parker hasn't been disappointed. I mean, yeah, I really, really like this. I'm excited to try this on my skin and report back on the longevity. Although if it's anything like the other SJP Parker, ugh, I can never say that right, can I? SJP Parker, that's like repetition. Okay, let's try that again. Um, the Sarah Jessica Parker perfumes, they have performed outstandingly on my skin. And yeah, I'm so happy with this for £9.99. So here we go. So putting it back can be a little bit tricky though because um, you can only put it in on the one side. So if you try and do it upside down, it doesn't slot in and you may end up accidentally pressing it. That's what happened with my son when he was testing it, uh, testing out the covet. But yeah. So there guys, I've been on a hunting expedition whereby I am collecting the Britney Spears fragrances. It started off with fantasy which I really liked. I thought the bottle was super cute. Then I got Midnight Fantasy, which when I first sniffed it, it wasn't as pizzazzful as the pink one as Fantasy. But then I tried it on my skin and oh my days, I loved it. I loved it so much. I was like, I need more Britney Spears Fantasy. I need more Britney Spears perfumes in my life. So I got Prerogative, which is outside the Fantasy line because I just thought, you know, just explore a bit more of the Britney Spears range. And oh my days, you guys, I had no idea that the bottle would be this nice. I love the bottle. It's I'm such a I'm such a visual person. Honestly, like you you design a fancy perfume bottle for me. I'm just gonna be like ga 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 ga. I do love a beautiful looking bottle and I like this. And because of the dark colors of the bottle design, I'm expecting this to be a little bit of a darkly fragrance. So in terms of the notes profile for this, um, let's have a look. We've got apricot, goji berry, and pink pepper. I've had great experience with pink pepper as a top note. Most of the SJP stash line, they've used pink pepper, and that's been amazing. The middle notes are what attracted me to it. It's got coffee, saffron, and red lily. So mostly the coffee and the saffron. I love a coffee note in a perfume. It's just something about coffee. I, I just, I love it. And then the base notes is sandalwood and amber wood. So we've got the warmth, the creaminess uh, coming through there. So this is a blind buy, by the way. So here we go. Mmm. There's some sweetness on here. Right, let's go. Let's go. It's like, oops, I did it again. Separately, what's your favorite Britney Spears song? I just, I love Britney Spears. I think she's just such an OG. Oh, wow. Oh, my days. That's like a laser atomizer. It shoots like a straight, like a hose pipe. And, oh. This is nice. This is really sweet. The coffee is coming through straight away. Apricot. You definitely are getting the apricot. Can't miss the apricot. You know like those dried apricots that you get from Holland and Barris? I'm getting those. They're like when you first open the packet and they had all of the fragrance stuffed in them and then you open it and it just goes. Whoosh. 
that's what I got here. Definitely got the apricot. Coffee note is coming through. Apricot is more dominant. I'm not really getting the pink pepper that much. Mm. Okay, I'm not, I'm getting some orange blossom. I know it hasn't been listed as a note, but I'm definitely getting some orange blossom, like a um, vanilla, vanilla orange coffee latte. Do you know what this smells like? So the other week I got a sample of black opium neon, which strangely enough also has the same pink and black colors. And I'm absolutely reminded of that perfume. I'm reminded of that perfume. It's got the similar coffee, orangey, vanilla vibe. But I liked it. I, I actually really liked the black opium neon. No, it's Yves Saint Laurent. Yeah. Yeah, Black Opium is Yves Saint Laurent, isn't it? Yeah, it's YSL. But yeah, this, this reminds me of that uh, smell. It's not quite as piquant as the other one. Like, it doesn't have as much of uh, the sharp uh, tartness. It's a bit of a softer version of it. Oh my gosh, guys, this is a... I feel like... I no longer have to buy the YSL Black Opium Neon because I quite liked it, but it's YSL, so it's actually a little bit pricier. And in terms of longevity on me, it didn't last as long um, as, say, other perfumes. So I think it did about five or six hours when I wore it on my skin. But so far, all of my Britney Spears perfumes, they've just been legendary in their performance. All day, I get to the end of the day, 12, 13 hours later, and it's still there. And the next day, when I pick up the clothes and I smell them, it's still there. This is a winner. And that's my prerogative. Yeah, that wasn't one of the best songs. So I never liked that one. Everybody's talking all this stuff about. Love it. It's a nice addition. Come to mama. Come to Up next is Private Show. And I'm so excited to be trying this. So I have VIP Private Show, which I like. It's a fruity floral. It's very feminine. It's very young. And I love it. But I want, I just couldn't get this bee out of my head. I had a bee in my bonnet about trying the original one. Because normally, from what I've read... The flankers, they don't tend to be anywhere near as good as the original. So I was like, I need, I want to try the original one. I want to try the original one. And so I ordered it also because it has a coffee note. Because that is one note that I have discovered I really enjoy in perfumes. Whenever perfumes have had the coffee note, it's just added a little bit of a something. I like drinking coffee and I'll have my morning cup of coffee. I won't have any coffee after 12 o'clock though because uh, it does keep me up, but I love the smell of coffee. It's just so invigorating and energizing. Combine that with flowers, because I love gardening. I'm just like, oh, yeah. So I'm quite excited about this. So in terms of the notes, actually, let's have a look. We have whipped cream. We have coffee with nectarine and clementine. Uh, so already I'm kind of expecting a vanilla orange latte vibe to it. And then the middle notes is dulce de leche. Dulce de leche, guys. That is like the best dessert ever. I love dulce de leche. Love making it. I don't make it as often because I do have a tendency to just gobble it all down when I make it. But whenever we go out to a restaurant, oh, pre-COVID days, if they had a dessert that was Dulce de Leche, I would order my main course to make sure that I had space for Dulce de Leche. I love it. And then uh, it's also got orange blossom. So again, we're doubling down on those orange notes because we've already had the clementine and now we've got orange blossom in the middle note. And then the base notes, we've got the winning combination of umber and musk, you know. So yeah, I got I got good vibes about this plus i also like the bottle i really like um the bottles oh geez i need to stop shaking so i don't know if this is true but i read somewhere that it's not a good idea to shake your perfumes and it said something like the molecules are so delicate that when you shake them you may 
damage them. I'm not sure that makes any logical sense, but why don't you let me know in the comments box down below? Is it um is it a really bad idea to shake them? Because I just realized I'm moving my hands around and shaking them a lot. But anyway, let's try a Britney Spears private show. Okay. I'm not a girl. Not yet a woman. Okay. Oh, no shaking. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so hard. All right. Okay, let's try. Oh. Okay. And you just hate it when you're atomized and you don't realize that you've um, made it aim the wrong way and then you spray it and it just goes and it's like you've just wasted a spritz of perfume. Yeah, I get like that sometimes. Right, let's turn this, face it, and let's try again. Oh, this is a powerful atomizer. <laughs> but that's it. Okay. Just got a blast of alcohol to start off with. All right, let's just give it a bit of time. Mm, the orange is definitely there. Maybe not as strong as I expected, given that we have um, the orange blossom as well as the nectarine. But nectarine is a very light kind of orange, isn't it? It's... Um, it's got a little bit more aqua to it than it has the citrusy aciditiness. It's very light. But again, the coffee note is beginning to come through. But again, it's also got the orange coffee vanilla thingy kind of going. A little bit disappointed because I'm not yet picking out the dolce de leche. I'm not really getting that sweetness, the creamy sweetness that I that I would like out of a Dolce de Leche, but it's there a little bit, but I have to really bring my nose close up to the paper. Do you know what? I bet you this will perform a lot better on my skin because some of the perfumes on paper, they're okay. They're okay. You kind of get the, you know, the, the, the technical notes they're coming through. But once my hormones and my skin chemistry begin to interact with it, you know, some magic happens there sometimes. So, yeah, but, you know, it's not unpleasant. I quite like it. It's got the light coffee note. It's not, the coffee note in it is not as strong as, say, in the prerogative, but it is there. To me, this, so far, I can see myself wearing this more in early summer in early summer because it's, it's been quite yeah it's quite it's it's a lighter version of the prerogative whereas with the prerogative i can see myself wearing this now it's like i'm up, i'm up wearing that tomorrow yeah i'm gonna be wearing that one tomorrow but yeah yeah so to me this could be summer this could be early spring um yeah a nice billowy uh, top bohemian style, you know, fluttery sleeves, big glasses, big hat to protect myself from the sun. I could see myself wearing that then. So this is Private Show from Britney Spears. Okay, so the next one is this gorgeous looking bottle. <laughs> is that to pick something up? Look at this. How beautiful is this bottle? I love this bottle. I don't know about you, but I think that the Britney Spears bottles, they're so pretty. Maybe it's because they were designed for her fan base, which was like teenagers at the time. I guess my inner teenager is still wanting to experience the world because I love these. I just, I love how this looks. Look at that. This is just the sort of thing that, you know, as a teenage girl, I would have just loved to have and just to gaze at it and just to be like, oh, I got this. But yeah. OK, so curious. Apparently, this is the very first ever Britney Spears fragrance that came out. I think it was 2004. I may be wrong. Uh, but yeah, I just thought since I'm getting into Britney Spears fragrances, I need to go right back to the beginning and I looked at the notes and I thought that the notes profile looked good. It's a blind buy, but I had looked at the notes and we have Magnolia, Pear and Lotus. 
I don't really like the scent of a magnolia tree. Personally, I don't like it. I find it thick and cloying. But the good news about perfumery is that very rarely have I found that the perfume notes coincide with the natural notes, except for some rose-based fragrances. There are some rose-based fragrances that have been very much smelling like what a real rose smells like. And yeah, and then we've got pear and lotus. For the middle notes, it's a jasmine, tuberose, and cyclamen. And then the base notes is musk, vanilla, a white woods, and sandalwood. So, so far, all of the Britney Spears uh, perfumes that I've tried, they kind of have a similar base in that they've got the musk, the vanilla, and the sandalwood in varying degrees. So they kind of have a very similar DNA, which is quite comforting. And it also gives me the confidence that I'm probably going to like them, you know, which is good when you're spending a lot of money on perfumes. And here in England, you can't return the perfume once you open it. You know, once you open that cellar phone, that's it. you got to keep it. If you don't want it, you have to sell it on eBay. I'm just, <sighs> okay. It's a beautiful bottle, but the lid didn't come off easily. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. It's a beautiful bottle, but it doesn't handle very well. It's a bit, um, like, yeah. I could see myself dropping this very easily. <laughs> so I wouldn't be using this in my bathroom because my bathroom has got tiles and once or twice things that are glass have slipped from my hands, fallen onto the tile and just broken and shattered. I do have some bath mats now around where I'm standing so that that doesn't happen again. But I've now become a little bit paranoid about handling anything that's glass on there. So in the mornings when I have to put on my perfume, I will get my perfume from the cupboard that's in the bathroom because that's where they live. Um, and I'll come out to the carpeted area of my bedroom and then I'll spray it and then I'll put it back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was traumatized, but here we go. Let's try you out. Okay. Oh, I like this atomizer. Let's get another spritz. Mmm. Clean. Clean is what I'm getting from this. So not an immediate fruity floral compared to the other ones. Not super sweet either. I'm not getting much sweetness from this, but it's got a very clean... Mm. I guess it matches the blue bottles, like a, a you know, clean laundry, I want to say. I'd definitely be wearing this in spring, summer. I, I think this is more of a spring, summer fragrance for me anyway, to my nose. So for me, when I smell a fragrance and it makes me happy to be in winter, it's a winter fragrance. If I smell a fragrance and I just think, oh, I could be a butterfly. I could be a butterfly floating around the tulips and the, you know, the dahlias or whatever. Then it's like a spring summer fragrance. That That's my very non-scientific way of saying, um, but it's not thick either is quite light the magnolia is definitely there it does have a magnolia feel to it which gives it quite a strong white floral scent hmm i gotta say i'm not wowed you know i'm not singing in the rain or anything like that but it's a very and i think that it's also quite inoffensive i just feel like it's a it's a scent that is there and it's not unpleasant. There isn't anything that makes me think, mm, thing. I, I think this would also work well for an office situation. Hmm. Very light, a little bit of the jasmine beginning to come through. I have to say, to say that it's got tuberose, the tuberose is very, very mild. To my mind, it kind of reminds me a little bit, a little bit of laundry day with a very posh laundry detergent and a very posh uh, fabric softener. So very, very clean with just a little bit of some white florals swimming underneath the surface. Which I think that there would be days in summer that you would want to just have that sense. 
So that is a prerogative beautiful bottle though. I mean, just for the bottle alone, this gets, you know, great points for the bottle. I will be back at some point to report back on how this gets on with my skin chemistry, the longevity, the sillage and so things that's like that. been my perfume haul of mostly, of celebrity perfumes, but mostly Britney Spears ones. And out of the four that I have, I think that definitely my favorite has been prerogative. I like sweet uh, fragrances and this was by far the sweetest and it has the strongest coffee note that I absolutely love so it's quite dark and I imagine that I will be wearing this with like really deep rich colors basically the outfit that I'm wearing today I think would go really well with this one um my least favorite my least favorite was this one so far it wasn't quite as strong performing as the others but that's not to say it's going to be discounted i never judge a perfume based on the first sniff i'm going to try it on my skin and see how we get on with it the first sniff just means that if i had tried this in a shop i wouldn't have bought it but because we are in times of the rona and we're at home we don't it's very hard to try uh, fragrances i'm doing a lot of blind buying but we haven't been discounted yet. And then these other two, they were really quite lovely. Great additions to my collection and fantastic looking bottles. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you staying until the end, listening to my rumbling perfume madness. And if you do like perfumes and everything to do with perfumes and you want to fo follow along with the perfume madness then please do hit that subscribe button also like the video it really really does help the channel and i appreciate it very much until i see you next time guys take care bye